So this is the part 2 of making a puzzle game inside Unity. If you haven't watched my previous video, I suggest you do so. Alright, so this is where we left off. What we need to do is to make multiple correct rotations for our straight pipe so that even if it's rotated by 180 degrees, it still counts as correct. So for that, what we need to do is open a pipe script and instead of a single correct rotation, we will have to make an array of correct rotations. So let's make an array and also make an integer to keep track of the number of correct rotations. Alright, so let's call this possible rotation and let's default this to right, the one. Alright, so now we can check if a piece has more than one rotation. But before that, we need to get the possible rotation. For that, let's type in possible rotations and we will set this equal to the correct rotations dot length. Alright. So now we will check if the piece has more than one correct rotation. So if possible rotations are greater than one. And if there are, well, in that case, We'll just copy and paste this here. And here we need to put in multiple conditions. So we will take. Actually, let's first give this an index of zero. And let's copy this. Paste it here. And we'll take for the other one. So let's put in one. So now if the possible rotations are greater than 1, we will check for both of them and if any of them satisfies, we will set these less is equal to true. Also let's put an else statement so, so if the possible rotations are not greater than 1. And here we will just check for only one condition. So let's move this. Alright. Alright, so now we have to do the same thing inside of the on mouse down function. So so let's just copy this first, paste it here and we will just pretty much repeat the whole process that we did in the start method. Let's tidy things up a bit. Alright, looks good. So here we need to, here we need to take the first condition and also let's put in the second one. Put in one. And also we need to put the else statement here. Let's just copy this. Paste it here and get rid of the second statement. Which leaves us with this code. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity now. Now we need to select all of our straight pipes, so let's select them one by one. And here put in multiple conditions, so let's put in two. And we will put both the correct rotations, so 0 and 180. Alright, and, and now the curved one, so let's select the curved pipe. Alright, we will set the size to 1. And here we just need to set the correct rotations one by one. So zero. And for this one we will put in 270. For the third one it's already zero. So and now we can try it out. So let's see if it works. Let's try to rotate them. And it works. Yep. So no matter how we rotate them. And of course yeah this one is missing. Oh, because I have put in the wrong rotations here. So it will be uh, 90 and uh, 270 degrees. So let's just quickly correct them. Let's go back. Put in 90 and 270 and hit play again. So let's try to solve the puzzle. So let's take this one. And it works. Alright. 
And now we have solved the puzzle. And all of the pieces are correctly placed as you can see here. So now we know that we have solved the puzzle but the game doesn't know that. So for that we need to open up the game manager script. And here we will first make a private integer and it will keep track of the correctly placed pipe. So let's name it corrected pipe. And let's default this to zero. And down here we don't need the update method so let's just get rid of this. And make a new public method instead. We will call this correct move. So this method will get called whenever we place the pipe in the correct position. So when this method gets called we will just increment the corrected pipe by 1. So correct pipe plus equals 1. And also we will check if the corrected pipe number has reached the total pipe number. So that we know we have placed all of the pipes in the correct rotation. Then we will just print a message saying you win. Alright. And also for each correct move we will also print a message so that we know that everything works correctly. Let's just say correct move. And we also need to make another public method for when we make a wrong move. So let's just call this wrong move and we will simply just decrement the connected pipe by 1. So connected pipe minus equal 1. Awesome. That seems to be it. So now we will need to go to the pipe script and here when we are making the correct move we will call the correct move method. So for that we first need to make a reference for our game manager. So let's call this one game manager. And inside of the awake method, so let's make one. Void awake. Here we will get the game manager by using game object dot find. And we will find the game manager game object and then we will get the game manager script from the game manager object so yeah and also let's make sure that we have got the name correct here all right so once we have the game manager reference we will just so we will just call it here so let's just type in game manager dot correct move all right so let's just copy this and paste it here. So just paste it wherever we are making the correct move. Here and lastly down here. And also we need to call wrong move method. So here and yeah I think that's all we need to do. And also I messed up this here so let's so let's just call a game manager dot wrong method. All right. So let's just get a quick overview of what we are doing. So firstly, we're getting the game manager script. Then, so whenever we make a correct move, we will just call this correct move method which will then increment the number of the connected pipes by 1 and when the connected pipe number reaches the total pipe number so we know that we have completed the puzzle then we will just print a message saying you win and for every wrong move we will just decrement this by 1 awesome so let's just save this and try this out alright so let's select the game manager here and here we can see the total pipes but we cannot see the corrected pipes so for that let's go back to the game manager script 
and yeah of course we will have to mark this as a serialized field to be able to see inside this picture all right let's save this go back and now we can see both the total pipes and the connected pipes so let's try this out so we only need to set the two pipes correctly so let's go ahead and do this one down and yep work and the last one all right so yeah and we can actually see that the message print yep and it says you win and now the best part about this whole dynamic system that we have created is that you can create puzzle with as many pieces as you like without having to change a single thing so let me just show you how to do how to exactly that create a new one by duplicating some of the puzzle pieces from this one okay so yeah this looks good and now it's time to test it out let's try this out and last one so awesome so yeah it works perfectly also you can increase the size of your board to make some more room to fit in more puzzle pieces by du by duplicating these tiles and and place them around so yeah that's all up to you from now on you can just play around with these and make as many puzzles as you want also i just can't thank you enough guys for the 1000 subscribers mark but as a little giveaway i will be giving you this whole project that you can just download for free the link will be in the description so go ahead and download it and use it however you like and lastly you can also support me on patreon as i need help making these videos for you guys so yeah so that's it i'll see you in the next one